Now, for the Ayurvedic uh, remedies mm. when it comes to Saturn, Saturn is a Vata planet. So usually people with Saturn-related challenges have too much Vayu. And, 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 and Rahu is also a Vata planet. So when we get with the Ayurvedic remedies, Rahu and Saturn, we are trying to pacify Vata. Um, my herb for Saturn is the same as my herb for Rahu. And Rahu is akin to Saturn. They're both related to each other because they can create tamasic influence in the mind. So you have to reduce the tamasic influence in the mind. So my favorite herb for Saturn is the Jadamansi. Um, Jadamansi, what should be taken a half, to, half teaspoon simmered in um, milk or milk substitute. Um, and you can add a little bit of um, jaggery and uh, you drink this one hour before bed and it purifies your mind while you're sleeping. That way you wake up in the morning on the right side of the bed without any tamasic thinkings. Uh, so this is very good uh, herb for Saturn um, and the preparation method. Um, but also Saturn has a connection to astidatu, which is the bones. So oftentimes people with strong Saturn challenges like Saturn in the eighth house, they have problems with their bone like the osteoporosis, arthritis, and things like that. So you have to do things to strengthen their bones. So um, most of people on this path are following the vegetarian uh, diet, but that diet can be difficult for the bones. So you have to go because um, the, the broth, the soups that are made from the bones of the animals is way more healthier than the meat. Especially when you're looking from an Ayurvedic perspective, Dr. Lott always thought of the use of meat as a medicine versus a food. And for people who have bone problems, bone broth is really good. But I have some vegetarian alternatives as, as well. Um, number one vegetarian alternative to support the bones for Saturn is the pearl buzma. This is the ground up pearls. So you can find this at an Ayurvedic pharmacy, but it's the ground up pearls, the pearl buzma. This is a very, I forget the Ayurvedic uh, term for the pearl, but um, the, the, the ground up pearl medicine which is called the pearl buzma. But this you only need a small amount, quarter teaspoon taken with honey. And then warm water. This will increase the strength of the bone. There's also another uh, rock called the mica. Um, you can take the mica bu buzma. So you take a little eighth of a teaspoon of the pearl buzma, eighth of the teaspoon of the mica buzma, and mix it with some raw honey. Then you take the raw honey and you eat the raw honey and drink the hot water, and your bones will become very, very strong. You no longer will have the suffering so strong of the, uh, of the arthritis and the osteoporosis. Um, so those are some Ayurvedic remedies. And then the last couple remedies I'd like to give are more, some of them are traditional and some of them are more practical. From a traditional per perspective, Saturn is called the Shudra, which means the servant. So the greatest remedy in honor of Saturn is for us to be of service to the people who need it most. See, oftentimes when it comes to the concept of service, we're in service to the family, we're in service to the charity, we're in service to the average person that we're walking about of the street. But Shani has to do with the lowest caste. So the greatest remedy to improve your karma with Shani is to be in service to the homeless people to the elderly people, people over 80 years of old. 
to the orphans, to the, to the babies that have been abandoned by their parents. Also, also the homeless people. Also the drug addict and the alcoholics. Um, also the mentally handicapped and the physically handicapped. But this is written through many of the ancient uh, writings about remedy for Saturn is to be in service to this group of people who really need that help. And the most extreme example, which I have yet to do, but I but saints have been known to do this, is to clean the dirty feet of the homeless person. It's a hard job, but it's good remedy for shunning. And then the last remedy, which I wanted to mention before I want to hear about any insight from Bobby G, is what I call the virtue or uh, checklist. Because it says in the ancient sutras and the slokas that no spiritual change or, man, uh, or growth manifest without shunning. So we think Jupiter is the planet of spiritual manifestation. We think that Rahu and Ketu are the planet of spiritual manifestation. It specifically states that the spiritual change manifests through the work of Shanaishcharaya. So the virtues which Saturn is helping us work on as Shanaishcharaya, the slow mover, well, the number one virtue must, must be patience. So people in Shani Mahadasha, Shani Antardasha, Saturn Return, Sati Sati, their patience is always tested in some way. But there are lots of other virtues as well. Saturn tests our acceptance, our ability to accept what we can't control, because they call Saturn the great controller. So Saturn helps us surrender to what we cannot control. And uh, Saturn also gives us the virtue of humility, which means the surrendering of our ego self. And that's why the sun and Saturn are enemies, because the sun is the healthy ego and Saturn is the humility of the ego. But the, the remedy which I wanted to explain for this is kind of an idea which is if we self-test or self-challenge ourselves as much as possible on a daily basis, then Saturn might not have to work as hard. In other words, if we're doing the work, then we don't have to make the graha do the work because we're doing the work and that just makes the graha happy. And what planet to make happier the better than Saturn? So this means, think about patience. Think about all of the things in your life that make you feel impatient. For example, doing the taxes, going to the grocery store, talking to the relative that you don't want to talk to, doing the vacuum, cleaning the toilet, going uh, to the doctor's office. Because Saturn represents the mundane world which is all these responsibilities and activities that we have in the mundane world that we don't necessarily feel like doing. So one of my greatest practical remedies for Saturn is to write all these things down that kind of test your patience and make you feel impatient and put them on a list. And then on Saturday or another day, you force yourself into those positions. You force yourself into everything on that list. And eventually, um, the divine will come in. One of my old friends used to tell me, say, it was seeing Shiva at the grocery store. It's easy to see Shiva in the temple. It's easy to see Shiva in the Ganja River. It's, e it's easy to see Shiva in all of these uh, spiritual places. But how about when we're all doing our mundane responsibilities and duties, paying our bills, going to the grocery store, and going to the doctor? Shiva is also there, but we sometimes forget in this moment. So again, just to, even if acceptance is the virtue, 
You have to practice to accept the unacceptable because we can't control all of these things. I used to joke around back in the uh, elections before um, uh, the new president that all of the fans of Donald Trump should go to the Hillary Clinton uh, fundraiser. And all of the fans of Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders should go to the Trump fundraiser. Why? To improve your karma with Saturn, because you have to practice to accept the unacceptable. You have to practice to accept what you can't control.